before I started working at BCG, I just had this assumption that my day would be spent crunching a lot of numbers, playing with a lot of data, trying to find patterns in things that, that people hadn't seen before. Um, you know, I think that's, that's actually played out really differently. You know, I think the world that we live in is actually much more dynamic, much more interpersonal. And we find ourselves engaging not just in our client environment, but also in the world around us much more broadly than I ever thought would be possible. I had some work to do on, on two of my current projects. One of them is working with one of the leading cultural institutions in Chicago, and we're really helping them think about you know, what is our business model going forward? How do we stay relevant? How do we stay really important to the community around us? Um, and then the other one that I was working on was, was one of our major, major clients who's really rethinking the shape of their portfolio, what they want to be, what they want to sell, and how that's going to impact the role that they play in the broader world around them. So after that, I went straight to Amazon. Um, I'd had the privilege the night before of attending the opening night of the Women in the World Summit, which BCG was co-sponsoring this year. The one panel in particular that really, really struck me was a panel of, of women journalists who come from markets around the world, like India, like Russia, like China, where you know, freedom of the press is not a given. Um, and I was just absolutely floored as they told their stories. And so, of course, had to go on Amazon and order every single book that every one of them had ever written. You know, I see the impact that the journalist can have, the businesswoman can have, the politician can have. I mean, these are all just remarkable, remarkable feats of influence. And, you know, I think I really walked away from that conference saying we have an obligation to do that as well. It was inspiring. It was motivating. It was also a little bit scary. <laughs> you know, just this recognition that, you know, you play this really important role and you sit in this really powerful place. And it would be such a huge you know, waste of that opportunity to not drive, to not push forward, to not kind of push through those ceilings as you see them. I forget sometimes sitting where I sit inside of BCG just the amazing impact that we can have and and the influence that we have on the people that we interact with day to day. You know, and I I personally do a lot of work with the LGBT community. I lead our, our global employee resource group. We spend a lot of time building an internal community, connecting with one another and really trying to create this great place for BCGers. But you forget that that has incredible dividends as we then go and interact in the world outside. You know, if I reflect back on the Women in the World Summit, the thing that just stood out for me across those couple of days more than anything else was here were these people who just were passionate, committed, who knew that they could and should drive change and impact, and no matter what, they were going to go and do it. I was completely emotionally exhausted at the end of the day, and um, I think like all good consultants, my flight time is basically my most productive time in the week. You know, I, I get on the plane, there are no disruptions, there are no phones, and I can just do head down three, four hours, get a lot of work done. Um, and on this particular day, I literally got on the plane, sat down and fell asleep within minutes. It really was quite remarkable. You know, I, I tell people it was my best BCG day and, and it had nothing to do with being in a client meeting, but it was this incredible opportunity to interact in this context that was really a once in a lifetime experience. Mm -hmm.